Let's get on to our next guest. Like I said, we have Debbie Carell on tonight. I'm super excited. And give me two seconds because I hardly know Debbie. Um, we've been texting a little bit today and I've been getting to know her and she, I asked her to send me a little bit of information about her. And as I was reading it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this sounds so exciting because I know nothing about what she's going to be talking about. And that just makes me really happy because it's always super fun to be able to learn from people and see where they, um, what their experience has been and where they are at with it. So let's look at um, the fact of pet tandem. That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. And pet tandem, as you all know, used to be canine health. Love the change to the new name. But Debbie has been in Life Vantage for five years. And I'm going to read this because I don't want to mess anything up. But she's been in Life Vantage for five years as an equine physical therapist. So she's working with horses as a physical therapist for over 39 years. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. And she's been traveling all over Florida, Kentucky, the New York circuit. Um, she's even been able to work with two of the Olympic teams. She worked on those both in the United States and Canada. And the last 25 years, she's been working with top racehorses and hunter jumpers on the East Coast. Um, she currently lives in Saratoga Springs, New York, um, until she goes to Elite in Florida. And then she's staying there for the winter, and I, do, I don't blame her. Um, we have yucky winters here, too. So I love the idea of heading to Florida and hanging out there instead. Um, and one of the greatest things that's super fun is all the things she's done for the horses, um, but she's been able to retire um, after being in life Vantage for three years. And that's something that um, is an amazing, amazing thing to be able to say. And the fact that she can do what she wants with it now, but no pressure. So she can, you know, give everybody her talents without expecting or needing anything back, which is really nice. And um, so Debbie, I'm so excited. I unmuted you. So let's see if we can hear you. Go ahead and let me see here. All right, I'm here. I gotcha. Perfect. Let me mute myself here once. All right. All right. All right. Oh, you know, I've got my phone on just a minute. Let me see if I can uh, get rid of one. Yep, we're getting a little feedback from the one. Trying to leave. All right. Is that good? Perfect. Now I got to find you back I can here. Hear you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. You can hear me. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, well, thank you so much. I appreciate you inviting me on the call and the nice introduction. And I really appreciate Stu for putting these calls together because I think they're really important. Um, I just say that every single day I get more excited about being involved with Life Vantage. Um, I have never done anything like this before. I've been in the horse world all my life. And as of this week, it is exactly five years in this business, and uh, a total stranger changed my life. Uh, we were in Saratoga. He was visiting home, and I had a, uh, door signs on my truck that said equine therapist. He hadn't been in the business very long, and he walked over with his wife, and they wanted to show me something. And I have the big eyeball roll because I have a lot of people that ask me to sell things because of the clientele that I'm in front of, and I always look at everything. And there's usually, there's just not any science there. And so I really have never picked up a product um, ever. And so I looked at it and immediately I could see, you know, the science that was there. I got very excited and I was also still a very big skeptic. I didn't know anything about multi-level marketing. Um, it scared me because I was supposed to know that you're not supposed to do it. It's the only thing you know. But this product was, uh, it was just too good. I finally decided I didn't care how it was marketed. I wanted it for horses that I knew, I wanted it for myself. And being in the business that I'm in, um, I know a lot of people that need this. All the horse people are pretty beat up because we don't have days off. Um, my, my job was actually for 11 months out of the year, I didn't have a day off. You kind of took all of your days off in December. So uh, you, when it didn't matter how, how bad you were hurting, you were still gonna go to work as a horse person. So I knew an awful lot of people that needed to know about this. So I was very excited. Uh, I got in. Uh, the person that showed this to me was Justin Brown. And I had to have the science, so he directed me towards PubMed.gov. And when I looked at it, I just couldn't believe the amount of science that was there. And um, he didn't know it at the time, but I'd been doing this business for a really long time. It was very demanding uh, physically. 
along with those no time off. And uh, I had a pretty good income, but you spent a lot of it traveling. And horse people just don't have the word retirement in your vocabulary anywhere. And uh, I, I saw the money and I thought, that just can't be true. Why wouldn't I know about something like this? Because I was too busy to ever look at anything. So I went to my first academy just to go out there and see if the money was real because five years ago we really didn't have an income statement. And I just didn't believe it could be true. Um, and by that time I was all in when I saw that uh, the science was real. I'd had an opportunity to put a lot of horses on it. I've had people's feedback. And then I realized that network marketing was just an incredible opportunity. So I'm forever thankful for a stranger to walk up to my truck. So don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody because you probably, uh, you don't know what they're thinking. I realize most of the people that knew me would probably never ask me to, to take a look at a business because they already knew I worked 11 day, 11 months out of the year straight without time off. When could I do this? And uh, why would I want to leave working the top horses in the world? So you don't know what somebody, I never complained about that. I was fortunate. I was happy that I was working on great horses, but um, I was getting tired. So don't ever be afraid to approach somebody, uh, even the real skeptics, because we've got the science that can back it up for you. So when, when I got in five years ago, there really weren't very many horses. Uh, and we talked about pet tandem, and I'll talk about that for a while, but I was told it was about horses, so <laughs> I prepared a lot about the horses. Um, but you can do the, you know, the horses or dogs, both. There's tons of science on them. You can go to PubMed, and that's where I started. Um, at that time, like I said, there weren't a lot of studies, so I just – picked out some things that horses have that people have, like inflammation, like um, soft tissue injuries, um, diabetes, arthritis, all of those things that horses have. So I just was able to look at the studies that we had on people and connect the dots. I mean, they're mammals. They're, they, you could, I, as a therapist, I know they feel the same way. I know when you take inflammation away, you know, your pain level goes down. Uh, so I was able to just I was excited and I wasn't afraid to try it on these horses and it was just exactly what I thought. It was just incredible. So right now I want to talk just a second about testimonies because I got into testimonies big time when I first got involved because everybody that was in it was and it's just not something we can do. It's just learning how to use different words and so I won't ever really talk about pro tandem and an illness. I'll educate the people first on what ProTandem does. It, it, it reduces oxidative stress by 40% in 30 days. That's a proven study. It really doesn't get any better than that. A testimony is just what somebody says. Um, and most of us are really truthful about what we're saying, but it, sometimes it sounds like a sales pitch because it can be really crazy, almost hard to believe. So I try and always bring people back to the science, teach them what ProTandem does, and then start talking about oxidative stress. So now I can talk about oxidative stress and inflammation with horses. Um, I looked up some of the, uh, on PubMed, like I said, I looked up the inflammation, joint pain, soft tissue injuries, diabetes, and arthritis, because that's what we all kind of have in common. And at that time, five years ago, there were thousands of studies done on people with just those five problems. And you notice I don't even say disease. It's a problem. It's an issue. It's just changing a few words. So what's exciting is now, five years later, you know, on PubMed, you can go and enter equine oxidative stress. And now there's over 300 studies. And that's very exciting where you can take a horseman, something some of them don't want to connect those dots. But now they don't have to. Uh, it is over 300 studies. And to list a, just a few of them, um, oxidative stress during thoroughbred training, uh, long distance horse, uh, transportation, oxidative stress and laminitis. Oh, I was so excited to see. There's two of those on there. And there's many of them on stallions, breeding, reproduction, uh, relationships of oxidative st stress and skeletal muscle. Uh, I just saw today there's one on pu uh, British Equine Veterinary Association that's on obesity with equine. There's two on colic. So eventing horses, there's a number of studies that have been done on them. And then I saw one on oxidative stress that's suffering from inflammation, airways disease, a really big problem, you know, for the racehorses. So there is real science there. Now, I hope you guys go and take a look there. One of the things you're going to see is many of these studies will end with further studies need to be done. Uh, we need to investigate more. Well, they are doing that. They are investigating more. We're having more and more studies. And that's pretty exactly what happened with humans. You know, they did some studies, and then that would end up, if you look at some of the old ones, need to have more investigation. 
well, they're doing that. So just be excited that it's happening, that you're part of this happening right now. So um, there's another place you can go, and it's called Google Search. And right now, today, I looked, there's 39, 29,000 studies done on equine oxidative stress on Google Scholar. So that's a, a, a real great place to go take a look. I saw some on uh, physical exercise, on muscle damage and racehorses. Um, there are many studies on that one about airway and a lot on breeding and reproduction with them too. So there's lots of information out there. We just build your belief on science and you know, your posture will change when you realize you really have something to bring to the table with people. That we're just not talking about we're gonna make them feel better, that we've got science proving that what we're doing. Um, and the dogs, uh, you can do the very same thing. Go to PubMed or Google Scholar and put in canine oxidative stress. And there's even more studies on canine than there are on horses. So lots of information out there. Um, there's a huge improvement with uh, the horses. I'm just giving you some of the things that I've seen. Uh, most of us with animals know that your hair and your uh, skin really tells you kind of what's going on on the inside. And that is one of the biggest things I see with the horses. Their hair coat changes and their skin condition, uh, it gets much better. And we really know that's a key. Uh, when you reduce oxidative stress in horses, that what we're doing is we're seeing a reduction a lot of times in anxiety, uh, mm -hmm. which we kind of took a look at that with people. I looked at ADD, ADHD. We're seeing you know, results with people. And then I started really going after horses that I knew were, uh, had a lot of anxiety, say they were young, young horses. And uh, we could see them have a lot of calming down going on. And that was very exciting because the, the young horses, for you guys that, I don't know how many horse people are on, um, these guys, when they're tiny, when they're little, when they're yearlings and weanlings, they're having to get put in some difficult situations, taken away from their friends, from farms, and their anxiety really goes up along with their oxidative stress. And we've seen some uh, great situations with some of the sale horses. Uh, Bonnie and Kim Heath uh, are on my team in Ocala. And they have horses that go to the sales, young horses, winglings and yearlings. And they've had some great results using uh, the product for that. Because as a young horse, you're overdoing a lot of things. Uh, that's where the inflammation, joint pain comes from. Taking them out of stalls, you know, doing repetitive motion. Their feet get sore. You can't train them for that kind of job to get pulled out of a stall 70, 80 times a day and have somebody look at them. And they've had great success with their uh, recovery. And that's one of the things we can look at in humans for recovery and with horses and dogs in recovery is that uh, they don't tend to have those sore feet as much. The inflammation uh, seems to stay down. The joint pain uh, doesn't seem to be there like it used to when we weren't giving them this. So it's very exciting that we have products that are helping all ages and all disciplines of the horses because, it, you know, I call it the people games. You know, we're, horses really didn't decide to run around a circle as fast as they could or jump over jumps. They really didn't decide that we did. Uh, they're designed to put their head down and eat grass 80% of the time. So <laughs> most of the time when we stick them in a stall and we ask them to do something for us, uh, they're going to have to pay some kind of price. So I'm very excited that we have something that we can, uh, you know, use with these horses because uh, a lot of them, they just get exhausted. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we see a lot of, I don't know how you say it works with exhaustion, but it does. We see that with people. Mm -hmm. But uh, I call it rebalancing the cell. Um, you know, whenever you can take away cell damage, 40% of it in 30 days, that's huge. And that can allow uh, for repair much faster, whether it is just sore feet or, or injuries, soft tissue, or horses. And then going in and balancing that cell, you know, it's going to keep your immune system up. I know that uh, a lot of people are using these horse, uh, use the, the product with their horses. We don't see them get as sick because when you take them out of a real safe environment and you move them into another environment where there's a, a thousand horses, somebody's sick. Mm. And the chance of them getting sick is there. So keeping their immune system up, I believe, is really, really important, just like we work on ours. Talk to us a little bit about the dose. Um, I started with just one. I wanted to know what one pill was going to do for that great big 1,200-pound animal. And it was incredible, some of the success stories that, that were given with one pill. I find that a lot of that is with uh, horses that are getting to be a horse. They're getting to get out in the field and, and relax some and not be in a stall. And most of our professional horses that are stalled, uh, they just don't get out and walk around as much. So we have, I think, a lot more arthritis, those sort of situations that creep up with also inflammation. And I find that some of those horses, again, 
and they're not eating grass 80% of the time, so I think they need a little extra. And we're seeing that uh, two pills a day, splitting them in the AM and PM is better. And that's because they probably have a higher level of oxidative stress. And by flipping that switch on twice a day, uh, they just get a better benefit that way. One thing I, I do want to talk about is uh, a laminitis. That's the only time that we don't, that I don't, or I think most of us people don't talk about, yeah, two will do it. We don't know what will do it. And for the ones that don't know what laminitis is, it's a very debilitating uh, disease, and it's oftentimes can take their life. And I don't know, I just haven't had enough time to sit around and go, well, let's see what three do, and let's see what four do. Um, I'm sure after enough studies, especially seeing that we've got two studies out there right now, that more will be done. Um, so I know Bonnie and Kim Heath had a, a pretty amazing situation with one of their mares, and we've had some other people with great success. But it is giving them more. It's giving them anywhere from five to nine. And it's just because we don't know. And it's just one of those illnesses that we don't have enough time to waste to see what might work. So those are the only, that's the only one thing that I would say that I would use a much bigger dose on. But uh, one, for your horses that get to be a horse, and two, for the ones that are being a professional having to do a little more work, I think we've seen some great success with that. Um, but stay on Club Mad, use the science there. The dogs have been incredible. Uh, Lily Amarita is one of my distributors in Ocala, Florida. She's a uh, agility dog uh, trainer, and she's actually using the Axio with, her, with the dogs, the red Axio for her dogs when they go to the trial. And so I'm excited we're getting to use a lot of our products on our horses and our dogs. And I've, we've also had people with their squirrels and a whole lot of other things. So it works on all mammals. Uh, just try it and uh, just be excited that we have incredible products, but also realize this opportunity is once in a lifetime. We just don't get offered these things very often. Uh, I know I have never been in the right place at the right time. I can promise you Equine physical therapy 39 years ago was hard. No one did it. You banged your head against the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a custom saddle shop for 25 years. Banged your head on the wall for that for a long time until it caught on. So when I finally looked at this, and it was just a couple of years and it blew up, I was, I'm so super excited to be able to offer this to other people. So uh, just make yourself, you know, decide if you're really going to do this business. Then decide what your dreams are. Mm -hmm. I know... One of my dreams that I had to kind of let go because I had no time was I always, when I was young, when I was 14, 15, 16, 17, I worked with therapy horses before there were therapy programs. I worked with handicapped children with horses. And I always wanted to be able to put the two together. With That's done. Problem is, there's not any money. Uh, it just, the, the situations that are out there, the associations, there's not enough money to keep a lot of it going. So now this has given me an opportunity to be able to give back programs that are already started. And I also have time where my income is coming from Life Vantage now, and I can use some of my time and work on therapy horses and not have to get paid for it. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my dreams that's getting to come true now. And so just think about something you never thought you were going to get to do. Decide if you really want to do it. And then go to work because it's work is right now. Don't get started next month, next year. It is right now. So I want to thank everybody for getting on the call, and I appreciate uh, everyone's time, and you guys have a great evening.